A weather alert day is in effect through tomorrow as I'm tracking the threat for icy conditions with freezing rain moving in tonight. A winter storm warning is in effect for all of mid-Missouri until tomorrow afternoon. So I'm expecting impacts to continue through at least half the day tomorrow and start up tonight. So here's the New Year's Eve forecast, expecting things to be dry through about 9 or 10 o'clock. And then after that, we'll start to see freezing rain move in as temperatures are expected to be below freezing. Here's our low pressure tonight moving in from the south, really pushing all of that moisture in our direction. The track has shifted a little bit farther south and east, so that's why I'm expecting more of an impact across our area into tomorrow. Our future track here is starting out at 11 o'clock. Some of that precipitation impacting the Lake of the Ozarks. Most of this coming down is freezing rain overnight, and that's when we'll start to see those ice accumulations. Through the morning, a lot of this will be lifting north of I-70, and points south could get above freezing and allow some of that to fall as straight rain, kind of melting some of what we'll have accumulated on the roads at that point. Going into the afternoon, we'll get some of a break, but not much. We'll see some snowfall wrapping around on the backside of this low pressure for most of the area, potentially giving us another dusting to half an inch of snow on top of any icy roads. But temperatures, unfortunately, will be dropping below freezing once again into Saturday, so any untreated spots will likely be slick. Saturday afternoon, we have a chance of seeing a little bit more snow, expecting potentially another dusting to half an inch across most of mid Missouri. Our ice tracker tonight will start up likely after midnight. We'll start to see that accumulation. Area Area south of Highway 54, likely seeing anywhere from a glaze to about a tenth of an inch of ice, a little bit higher towards Fulton and Jefferson City, up to about two tenths, and then Columbia to Boonville, up towards Moberly, Warsaw, and Sedalia, anywhere from around a quarter to three tenths, possibly seeing some areas up to a half an inch of ice, and that's where we could run into some of those problems as far as power outages go, as our winds will be picking up overnight. Here's the snow tracker, and this will go through Saturday, so I'm not expecting a lot. The higher snowfall totals with the storm system will be off to our northwest, so not expecting much there, but main concern will be that ice accumulation. Traffic is going to be a problem late tonight into tomorrow morning, not expecting great road conditions at all during the morning potentially easing up a little bit towards the evening commute, but temperatures will be near freezing towards tomorrow evening. So again, anywhere that's not treated is likely going to be very slick going into tomorrow night and Saturday morning. Our weather alert day will expire as precipitation moves out tomorrow evening. We'll have that chance for a little bit more snowfall on Saturday, but not much more than about a half an inch is expected. Going into Sunday and Monday, temperatures will be on the upswing. We'll start warming back up into the 40s to almost 50 by the middle of next week.